And then getting into the elevator is really nice. You've got these uh, French doors that pull open, and you've got a marble small hallway, nice chandelier, stairwell, you can see. And takes you to the elevator. Going down. This is the 16th floor. It's beautiful. Decorative molding. It's a walk to the end of the hallway, which is where our room is. Which is nice. It's kind of like at a dead end. On the other end, that blue door is the infamous presidential suite, which, if I'm reading correctly online, costs about 35,000 US dollars a night. Not too shabby. I <laughs> would love to see what that thing looks like. Okay, so we are all checked in right now, and uh, we got the Madison suite, which is room 1635. It's at the end of the hall, which is nice. Let's check it out. And we enter. First, we enter to a little foyer, a nice table, and a mirror. We have a bunch of rooms, so let's start on the right. On the right, we come into a living room area, which has a nice chandelier, a desk, TV. In here is a mini bar. It's got a refrigerator. On this side, we've got some liquor. So there's some scotch, some cobassier, some wine, and you've got some, some glassware, some snacks. Pan over here, we've got a nice little table. They gave us some complimentary fruit. The view is awesome. We've got a view overlooking Fifth Avenue, I think. It's really pretty. Here's the pan of the room. There's Steph, who received some balloons, some champagne, and chocolate strawberries for her birthday. And it's her birthday too. <laughs> so now we're going to exit this room and we have a big closet. Yeah. On this side, we have two bathrooms. Here's one bathroom. Cool thing about this is it's got a TV built in the mirror, all marble, gold. There's the toilet and shower, a nice tub. Here's the inside of this shower, it's really nice. And then when we look outside this bathroom, we have a hallway and the hallway leads to the other bathroom and bedroom. So if you come in here and close the door, hey, okay, you've got a closet here, another bathroom, which uh, looks pretty much the same as the other one. So spacious, very big. And then we have Oh, there's Cameron in the bath, in the bedroom. Bedroom, we got two two beds. The other one with the king. It's taking a while to get ready, so they gave us this. Another chandelier. TV. Big space. Again, do like a quick pan here. There's Cammy getting ready for dinner and the show. Give us a wave, Bubby. Hi. You like it here? <laughs> yeah, and uh, it's just very nice. You know, you can see the decorative molding, the wainscoting, the wall, the accent wallpaper. You got the St. Regis logo built into the vents. Got the uh, marble flooring. It's very pretty. Very pretty. So we may have a new candidate where we're going to go each year. What do you think, Cammy? Should we come here next year for two uh, nights instead of one? Yes, 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 yes. All right. Love you. Love you, too. The one, one cool perk I wanted to mention is with the room, we got quite a bit here. So we got uh, a $50 food and beverage credit 
which we could use for breakfast or we use in the restaurant. A $50 laundry or dry cleaning credit, so each person can get two pieces of clothing laundered and a complimentary shoe shine, so I took full advantage of that. $25 at the hair salon, high speed internet, and then if you wanted to, you, um, you can get um, access or tickets, two tickets to the MoMA um, or the Met Museum of Art, which was nice. The other cool thing with this room is this entire floor has its own personal butler. So we had a woman named Tamara who actually met us outside of our elevator, walked us to the room, gave us a tour of the room, and uh, basically is here to support us and others on this floor, which is really sweet. Here's the elevator. Howdy. Very nice. I guess I'm going to G. Dark wood. Now I'm on the ground floor. It's a salon down here, but over here there's quite a lot of cool memorabilia. And here's pictures of Keith Richards, Mick Jagger, and Bob Dylan at a birthday party on the roof of the hotel in 1973. Jacqueline Kennedy. Apparently John Lennon uh, wrote or did one of his songs here. It's the Astor family, Marilyn Monroe. And then these other windows are, you know, pieces of the time in the early 1900s, some liquor and shot glasses and pictures and some letters and whatnot. It's pretty cool. Here's the creator of the hotel, John Jacob Astor, who apparently was a highly successful inventor and business person and writer. Unfortunately, he died on the Titanic, which I learned. Very interesting. It's closed, but here's a quick video of the hotel salon. In the lobby, there's a restaurant called the Astor Club. This is where my family and I were eating earlier. It's so pretty, very ornate. That's where the old King Cole bar is. That mural there I heard is worth $50 million. Here's the lobby. Cognac room. It's a cool room in the lobby. It's called the Cognac Room. It's small. It's not even private. I think it's open all the time. Come in here and read. Get some peace and quiet. It's pretty cool decor, especially this kind of marble fireplace over here. Large mirror and pretty cool chandelier. Here's the athletic club. Complimentary access to all guests. Seems decent. Some cardio equipment. Small amount of free weights.
Yeah, overall not bad. Really cool view of the city. It's 12 midnight, so of course it's dark. This is uh, the same view we had from our room. Not bad. Let me sit back. Cameron. Let's sort of jump out. Perfect. Cammy, smile. Lulu. Bill. Ted.
pretty, huh? So we came back from the Broadway show. And just to show you the kind of service we get here, they laid out towels and slippers, or mats and slippers, made the beds for us, and left us uh, a reminder if we wanted to leave out clothes for dry cleaning or getting shoes shined. Service here is unbelievable. Absolutely amazing. And they turned on some Christmas music, if you can hear it. There's a Bose stereo system there. So the butler came in and really made up the room. Amazing. Camis, give me a wave. <laughs> Are you comfy, Mom? Yep, I can't wait to go to sleep. Oh boy. Here's a picture from it outside at night. There's the entrance. The infamous uh, taxi stand in the front. That colored uh, copper. King Cole Bar, which I just showed you from before inside. Very pretty during the holidays, as you can see. So of course we took advantage of the shoe shine service, put the shoes in the bag at night on the door, and then we uh, got the bag back in the morning. And a nice touch they did was uh, they actually put a simple kind of shoehorn, like a spring device that acts as a shoehorn. I try to pull it out here. Yeah, you'll see it's like, uh, yeah, there you go. Nothing uh, fancy, but it does its job. So I thought that was pretty cool. So we just took advantage of the complimentary French press coffee. So I wanted to show that. There's the coffee, some pastries, and for my daughter, they were nice enough to give her some I can't open it. <laughs> it's hot chocolate. So that's uh, complimentary with the room and, and uh, if you order it before 12 or 12.30, I think. And here is our breakfast. Quite a spread. We had a nice set of options. We went with some cereal and oatmeal and omelets and farm fresh veggies, um, fruit, some juice. And now we're going to enjoy it in the living room. Hi, Cam. Good morning. <laughs>